This is Colin. He's a good person and he has, let's call it, a tricky brain. What? No, don't worry. When I say tricky brain, I don't want you to imagine Colin is different to any of us or unwell. Oh, no. We all have a tricky brain. Mm. But is it important to know we have this kind of brain? Good question. Let's start with a story. Once upon a long time ago, when humankind was young and our ancestors wore loincloths, life was very dangerous. To survive, they had to be on constant alert for danger, and so their brains developed a threat warning system to help keep them safe. Ah! And today, Colin's brain still has that alertness to protect him from danger, even when there isn't any. <gasps> and what's more, in our modern world, this danger looks very different. Hmm? What a mammoth task! And Colin's brain doesn't know if it's a woolly mammoth chasing him or a stressful work situation. Then, to make it even more tricky, Colin's brain, like everyone else's, not only has the amazing ability to dream, imagine, create and understand, it has also developed self-awareness, which in stressful times can lead us to overthink, worry and think negatively. This is what our tricky brains do. It's just the way they work and it's not our fault. So if we all have a tricky brain that's trying to protect us and is self-critical of our behaviour, how on earth do we deal with it? Tell me. Well, let's talk about compassion. Wake up, Colin. Compassion isn't just about being nice and doing good things for people. Compassion is for all of us. Let me explain. It's about recognising the suffering of others and then taking action to help. But it's often much easier to care for others than ourselves. In fact, when we think about caring for ourselves, this can sometimes feel uncomfortable. We might judge or criticise ourselves for needing help, appearing weak or not being able to cope. So, what would self-compassion look like for Colin? Let's run a situation in Colin's workday again. What a mammoth task! Step one, stop. Hmm? Just pause for a moment. What a stupid idea. This seems like an impossible request. When all humans are in threat mode, their ability to think in helpful and self-compassionate ways is difficult. However, if we slow our breathing down, it can help soothe us and slow down. Try this, find a quiet space for a few minutes. Take a big breath in through your nose, then breathe out slowly through your mouth. Didn't work. Try it a few times, Colin. The long line of patience is still there, but slowing our breathing down can help us to think more clearly and have less anxiety. Step two is just notice without judgment. Colin, do you hear those critical voices? And can you see what a hard time you're giving yourself? Yes. Mm -hmm. But it's okay. We can all give ourselves a hard time. Remember, it's part of being human. We're all in the same boat. And step three is kindness. That's easy for you to say. Kindness to yourself, Colin. Can you say something encouraging and kind to yourself? I'm feeling a bit anxious because of this stressful situation, but I'm doing the best I can. Great job, Colin. We can all build compassion for ourselves. It just takes a little time, like learning any new skill. So let me summarise. This is Colin. He has a tricky brain. We all do. Growing self-compassion can help us to deal with our tricky brains and to be a little kinder towards ourselves. Give it a go. Thank goodness you didn't show me in any embarrassing outfits. <laughs>